Felicia, are you excited to be working with your We Create Vision laser engraver and cutter? I really am excited about this new machine. What did you make? We made anchors for our upcoming cruise. Oh, that is exciting. They are gorgeous. Hey, if you like what you're seeing here, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified whenever we come up with new videos talking about We Create and other crafting items. So this is the software, pretty easy to use? Fairly easy to use, yeah, absolutely. We, Im drop? we imported an image of an anchor that we, okay. we grabbed from somewhere, and we added some text to the screen. But I see you curved it. So Could we wanted to curve it around the bottom, mm -hmm. and we just simply couldn't get it to, to do what we here's, wanted it to do. Here's the text path yeah. you're trying to, and, and again, this is really neat that you could do this. I've never seen this anywhere else. Maybe it is kind of cool, it is kind of cool. You draw a line, and then the text appears along that line, but it's not really what we're looking for. It's, it's not, not, it's not, it's not lined up perfectly, yeah. right? The letters are kind of overlapping. No matter what you did to stretch it, to change it, to move it, to rotate it, we just couldn't get it to work yeah. right. Yeah, hopefully this feature will be available in an update in the WeCreate software. All right, so what did you do here? So instead of using WeCreate software to create this, we went over to Lightburn. Oh, the big dog. And Lightburn does work with the WeCreate Vision machine, doesn't it? It does. Oh, it that's pretty cool. Does. So you took this into Lightburn and you were able to do the curvature. Right. So you could do that in Illustrator, Photoshop, even you absolutely Cricut, could. right? Absolutely. So we imported our image in and we only wanted the left anchor for this project. So we got rid of the right anchor. Mm -hmm. And then we added, we sized it, we grouped it, and um, added some text to it. Okay. So we just simply typed in some text here and um, moved it in place where we wanted it. Mm -hmm. And then there's this little blue dot here and we clicked on that and boom, oh, it started there. curving magically there. for us. That looks just like the one in Cricut. Right, yeah. it does, it works very well. Right, so cool. you kind of adjust it and get just the right curvature that you're looking for for your project, the right sizing. And, and seeing the spacing's perfect here. Right, it is, it's yeah. actually better than Cricut was, to That's be honest, nice. it's very nice. Once you get it set up the way you want it, you just export this out of Lightburn. As and then what? A PNG? As a, as I exported it out as an SVG file. Okay, as yeah. a vector. Okay, yeah. the vector file, so that's going to be perfect. Perfect. All right, so you saved that, exported it, and brought it back into WeCreate. Then we went right back over to WeCreate, we and we uploaded that image that we just saved out of Lightburn oh, right into the software. sneaky. Right? It came in really big, so we went ahead and sized it down to what we wanted it to be and then moved it into place. Now we had it a little too close to the bottom, didn't we? We did, we did have a little bit too close to the bottom, you'll see why in a second. But we went ahead and changed the little circle and the outline of the anchor to cut. Mm -hmm. And then we used fill and grave. This is great. Right, we used fill and grave for the, uh, the words. That bitmap is actually functional. It will automatically set the engraving That is amazing. Parameters. That's that is pretty amazing. Cool. Never seen that anywhere. Now, what are you doing here? So we used some masking tape and we taped over our piece of wood to help with any burn. Uh -huh. and? and that is the reason why we missed the tip, the very, very bottom tip ah. of our anchor because we couldn't see it well when we put this in the machine. So a pro tip, maybe give yourself a little bit of a margin on the top right. and bottom, even if it looks like it's at the yeah. bottom, add a little bit extra. Agreed. Gotcha. Agreed. Okay, Agreed. cool. That does look pretty close to the bottom of the workspace it, there. It but really it, still, does. it looks really, it came out really nice, but now we know. So you highlighted this and moved it all over to a decent place in the wood. Give yourself a little bit of margin on the left, right, top. And it looks like it's it's clear on the bottom, but it's hard to tell. It does. It, it does look clear, but it is very hard to tell. Yeah. And we selected um, three millimeter cherry plywood for this project. I wonder if there's a difference between the cherry plywood and the basswood. You know, I'm not really 100% sure, but after we selected the wood, um, we went back and just double checked our settings oh, for the uh, engrave and the cut yep. just to make sure everything was okay before we actually started the process. And you wanted this really deep because you're going to do something to this at the end. Right. It's mm -hmm. hard to see the engraved stuff on a dark wood. Right. Really so you can to... see we engraved it, the letters are engraved, and now it's doing the cut process. It moves pretty fast. This, this did not take very long to do this particular project. And there it is. It looks awesome. All right, so now with the tape still on the wood, mm -hmm. we went downstairs and we put some white gesso paint, spray paint on uh -huh. this and um, got it all nice and coated nicely. And we actually used a hair dryer to kind of speed up the dry process a little bit. I was gonna say, you're really fast here. Before we went in and we used some metallic silver oh. paint and spray painted it. 
And once Look. everything was nice and dry, we peeled oh. off that masking tape, weeded out those little pieces and parts, and boom. That look at that. That is amazing. You know, you could spray a lot of stuff with this metallic paint and make it look like metal. You could. So you could pretend you have a metal cutter. You could. And we create doesn't cut metal. Right. It'll grave a little bit right. of stainless steel, but that is amazing. I nice think it work. turned out really nice. It is amazing what you've been able to do with this We Create Vision machine. Will you be putting out more videos? Absolutely. Hit that like and subscribe button. You'll get notified with tips, tricks, and the really cool projects that we're making and selling using our We Create Vision. Thanks for watching. Bye, Felicia. I knew she was going to say that.